How are you? We're great. We're Thank you yeah, we're doing great. Excellent. So good to join you guys. Really, last year was quite a quite a trip for us introducing the Elf Racing Fuels to the community. So if you're ready to go, I can start sharing my screen. We're good. Well, I'd love to, but I do I do want to make a comment that I can see over your shoulder right there. Isn't that is that a Remington? That is a Remington. I Thank thought you. so. Beautiful. From picture. one cowboy to another cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Have so fun. I want to make sure you can uh, see my screen right now. You having a good day otherwise, Jeff? I mean, we're really looking forward to it. And uh, I got a little bit of a glimpse of what you've got to show us, and I'm really excited about it. Yeah, we're having a great day. Let me tell you what, it's been wonderful here in Houston, Texas, and uh, always, always good for racing here. I mean, we've got good weather almost all the time. Well, I hope so, because I'm getting ready to get on a plane here in a, a few more hours, and I'm coming back to Texas for about 10 days, and uh, I love that state. I really do. Excellent. Well, that's great to hear. I'm telling you, uh, you're always welcome here. We love to welcome people all the time. There, I see you. My screen is shared now. There you go. So, uh, Francisque, I hope you don't mind me telling a little story about how you helped me secure the Elf Racing Fuel deal. Um, Elf started coming to the Racing Fuel here uh, to support the SRO series and a couple of other series. And I, I heard about it. And I didn't know how to reach out to them because they're in France. Mm -hmm. So I called Francisque. I said, can you help me? And he said, absolutely. So he came back and he gave me the people at FIA to call. And so I called the FIA people and they in touch, put me in touch with the people at Total. Uh, it's called Total Energies now and ELF. And that's how we were able to secure this deal. So. We announced the fuel last year at EPAR Trade. Thank you very much, EPAR Trade. You're making news every day here. And we've continued to push the fuels through. So we have the fuels in the United States now. We have the lubricants now. And that's what I want to share with you here today. So let me just get this started here. So I want to make sure everybody understands this is just for the participants of the EPAR Trade 2021 race week. We really don't want this posted on any public forum. EPAR Trade is a business to business setup, and we don't want this to be out in the public forum because this is just for the people we hope to connect with on EPAR Trade. Hyperfuel. Yep. Let me turn down the lights here. Hyperfuel. So, where did I come from? So, in 1998, I started Hyperfuels as a way of getting fuels, lubricants, additives out to people nationwide. I was not very happy with the fuel distribution system for racing fuel. It was quite antiquated. So we basically uh, initiated shipping fuel in five gallon pails, which I knew could be shipped by UPS and FedEx. And so right now, Hyperfuels makes and markets a number of fuels, including Aspen Clean Fuels, Sin Diesel, Pure Fuels brand of ethanol free racing fuel, Elf Racing Fuels and Fluids, Sunoco and Torco. So what makes you think you need to listen to a guy like me? I have worked on designing gasoline and diesel fuel for over the road markets uh, for many, many, many years. Past member of the ASTM committee that regulated the fuel standards. And I was also on the racing side, the regional executive for SECA Houston region here. I was also president of the Texas Biodiesel Coalition. I've been in National Biodiesel Board. Most importantly, I was on the NYMEX Advisory Committee to introduce the natural gas and propane futures contracts. And most importantly, I did race SCCA Spec Racer Formula Ford and Formula Mazda. So that will give me some credibility here for talking to you about racing fuels. My objectives today, I want you to know the following about ELF. It's a part of Total Energies, which is right now the only refinery making racing fuels for sale in the USA. And this is why I was so excited that that Francisca of Epar Trade put me in touch with these people so we could bring these fuels into the United States. They're all unleaded, no lead is used. And this is gonna be an important part that we'll, we'll, we'll touch on later in the presentation. And the primary fuels are used for road racing and rally racing. So I'm sorry, a lot of drag racers are out there. We don't make 
highly leaded, high octane fuels. So that's not one of the fuels here. So road racing, rally racing, circuit racing, and they also make a number of racing fluids, which are synthetic motor oils for source four cycle and two cycle motors. We have coolant from ELF, dot four brake fluid and transmission fluid. So that's, that's the line that I'm gonna be discussing today. So ELF racing fuels, these are developed for four cycle and two cycle engines. They're made from high quality products from their refinery. And this is what's so important. As a refinery, they have a fully integrated petrochemical facility. So they have the choice of many, many, many refinery products and also chemical products. Uh, what we call uh, maybe some toluene, xylene, alkylates. They have a lot of products to choose from. These fuels contain modern additives to protect engines by reducing friction and improving combustion. And let me just talk about that modern additive. So there are a lot of additives that are being used out there. A lot of the racing fuel that we handle today, honestly, is racing fuel whose formulations were developed over 80 years ago. And that makes a difference. You're putting a very old formulation fuel into a new engine. That doesn't make a lot of sense for us. But elf racing fuels are made in controlled environments with quality of manufacturing being key to what they're trying to do. And most importantly, there's continual development of the fuels because as a refiner involved in professional racing, they're working with racing organization, racing teams, sanctioning bodies to create fuels for the future, fuels for today's engines, not fuels for yesterday's engines. So what does ELF do that's different? These new formulations for racing are continuing, continually developed by researchers at the special refiner to Total Energies. And this is in a refinery in Javor, France. And ELF is focused on the quality of manufacturing and packaging. Jeff, wait till you see the package. <laughs> Is it when impressive? You, it's impressive. When you see these, these, well, I won't, I won't let it out of the bag now, but when you see the Elf Racing Fuels at the racetrack, you're going to be highly impressed. And it's just one of the quality things that they do for the people that buy their fuel. They're focused on energy density. You know, I've made fuels for a long time. Energy density is very, very important because what I'm trying to do is get the most energy dense fuel. That doesn't mean the heaviest fuel. It means the most BTUs per pound. We're working on some GTL products some gas to liquids products with, for jet fuel. That's some of the most dense, energy dense fuel out there. And it weighs less than regular jet fuel high combustion speed uh, in either diesel or in gasoline. The rapidity of the combustion process is what makes engines go faster. So if I can have a fuel completely burn in one cycle that's coming up there and combust all and nothing hydrocarbon coming out the back end, that's what I'm trying to do. That's what these guys do at the refinery and I'm very impressed with it. You know, they're making an all unleaded racing fuel. So detonation resistance is a top priority for them. Now, the means we use to measure octane are more than 80 years old. So first of all, I don't think it's really rational to look only at octane as being your selection criteria, because the fuels we're making today, all unleaded, can go well above the detonation resistance of other fuels. So if I'm producing a 105 octane fuel, I may be able to, to compare that to 112 leaded fuel. Why? Because my fuel has more additives for detonation resistance. Reducing volatile components. This is a big deal for me because when these products come out of the package, they're immediately volatile and, and gassing off. We are trying to use less volatile components so that product's gonna stay good the whole racing weekend. Superior additives, we've already touched about this before. So. Fuel products. Now, this is what we have in the United States right now. It is not the entire line of ELF racing fuels, but we selected these fuels for both modern and historic uh, uses. So let me go through these. So the ELF Core 50, this is what you see on SRO or the World Endurance Championship. It is a 95 octane, as we call it, anti-knock index, same as what we regard as octane the R plus M over two. It is oxygenated, which means it has some amount of ethanol product in there. This is FIA compliant for many sanctioning bodies. 
including the World Endurance Championship, WEC. Now you may see this out on the WEC. This year, uh, it was actually an SRO. The packaging was from Total, so it was red and white uh, uh, drum, but in the future, you'll see that Elf drum out there. Elf Perfo 100. Now, had an interesting experience recently on this fuel, 105.75 AKI, no oxygen. So maximum detonation resistance for an unleaded fuel is right at 105. We can make them higher, but it comes with some, some detriments. So it's especially good for turbocharged application. We had our first order for this, Jeff. Uh, I don't mm -hmm. know if you've heard of a Glickenhaus hypercar. Have you heard of that? I have not. Okay, Hypercar is a new series that was put through to the 24-hour Le Mans. These are spectacular cars, all new technologies, no holds barred, and the Glickenhaus is tuned for the Perfo 100. So we shipped our first fuel to a, um, a site on the East Coast where these cars are being tested today. So it was very good that we had our first compliant customer. This Hypercar was tuned on the El Perfo 100, which of course is available right now in France and is now available in the United States. Elf Atmo Vent. It's a modern fuel for modern and historic race cars, 98.2 AKI, low oxygen content, so it's not going to be highly oxygenated. And this is one of those products that replaces leaded fuel for older cars or maybe modern cars that are running on a leaded fuel. And again, it's gonna have detonation resistance beyond the octane number. Strong valve additives are comparable to lead. So they're not using lead, so they have to have other products that are in there to stop any kind of valve seize. Elf ABS P11 VS, 101 AKA, AKI, oxygenated fuel to replace leaded fuels in more modern engines. The motorcycle guys are really liking this fuel. They're ordering it for the motorcycle fuel and they're uh, seeing good performance in it on the track. Of course, we do have an FIM compliant fuel, the Elf Moto 4G SP, so 94 and a half octane, four stroke motorcycles, which is good for MotoGP, Superbike, Supersport, Motocross. Those are the fuels we have today. We'll be adding some in the future once we do get the products over here and can put forth the demand. All right. Here you go, Jeff. All right. All right, hang on one second. Hang on a second. That's sexy, but I, before I move on, we've been getting some comments here, and I want to make sure that we uh, let these folks know we're not ignoring them. Uh, Mr. Chisholm would like to make a comment, say, hey, show a picture of the Glicken House. Uh, great eye candy, prettier than the Remington painting behind you. And then uh, Tom Escover said, yes, familiar with Glicken House. Awesome technology. So uh, some of our viewers right now are paying attention to that. So I uh, just want to let you know that. Super. I'll put it on the EPAR trade page. How about that, Jeff? I think that'd be great. You know, and, and the thing is, I mean, I all the years I've been watching Formula One, especially, uh, uh, you know, during the uh, I, I like to call it the, the super super Sunday deal that we have when we got Indy 500 and Coca-Cola, as well as, you know, uh, uh, what's going on over Formula One. I've been used to seeing this Elf logo throughout the history uh, of of racing in in europe i mean it's just uh it, it's great it's great to know that they're in the united states and they're getting stronger that's exactly right now i want you to look at this packaging see mm -hmm. what the, my slide says 50 liter keg 50 liter kegs about 13 gallons weighs about 90 mm -hmm. pounds has two side handles we haven't seen these containers here i can't get these containers in the united states but these container containers are awesome fully screen print, printed. So these are beautiful products that are they out are. there. And they contain beautiful fuel inside. I need but to buy some of those just so I can use it here and then keep the containers for to put in my garage as decoration. <laughs> you know, one of the toughest problems we have is getting rid of, of fuel containers. I don't think we're going to have any problem getting rid of these. I don't think so. So I let me go on. So, so Purple right. 100 and Core 50 are, are available in the 200 liter steel drums. That's the one below. It's got mm -hmm. a few ribs on it there for stability. Again, all these drums are 100% screen printed. They're just gorgeous and they're very well respected at the track. If you have a Glicken house, this is what you want to have next to the Glicken house. Now, let's talk about the racing range of fluids because 
we've got the fourth largest refiner, six largest, fourth largest lubricant manufacturer, six largest refiner fully integrated in the world producing these products. So I've already talked about the reason why we want to have a race fuel that's made by a, a refiner who's involved in the top spots in worldwide racing. You know, if you're involved in F1, if you're involved in Moto, Moto GP, if you're involved in road rally, you're working with these teams already. You're making products that they need. And this is the technology and the IP that's coming over to our racing fuels and fluids. So let's go through them here. So just, just gonna give you a quick overview. Two stroke, we've got the HTX 909 and 979 plus. Four stroke moto is the HTX 3800 series. I'll go through those. Auto range is the ATX 800 series. I'll go through those later. Transmission, we've got the HTX 700 series brake fluid, and this is the one that really shocked us. We didn't even have this on our radar until one of our own employees, who is a, a motorcycle racer, took a look at the HTX 320.4. Wait till you see the numbers, they're phenomenal. He said he's changing his brake fluid now. Coolant, HTX coolant, CI, which has an organic corrosion inhibitor. All right, let's move to the two cycle lubricants here. I told you these are special. The HTX 909, now, I handle a lot of castor oil, and castor oil has some pretty unique properties that we still can't replicate or even come close to competing with on a synthetic or mineral oil side. So when I say we've got a castor plus synthetic, that's not a negative, that's a positive. Look at the RPM limits that these lubricants can be powerful from up to 25,000 RPM, okay? Yeah. So we're one of the top nitromethane suppliers in the United States, and most of the nitromethane we sell goes into uh, the small radio-controlled vehicles, either planes or cars or all kinds of other things. They use castor oil because it has these unique capabilities of operating at very, very, very high temperatures near the combustion range and still being lubricious. So this, of course, is a SCUSA-compliant motor oil we're distributing now. So EPAR Trade, you have the ability to buy these products wholesale now. This is the first year that ELF has, has imported these through a distributor that offers them to everyone and not only at a racetrack. HCX 979 Plus, now we're going to the 100% synthetic for those that don't get up to quite as high at operating temperature. Again, these engines can ha have high rev limiters. 18,000 RPM is the limit for this product. So again, go-kart, motorcycle racing, that's where we see a lot of these high revving engines, but Dell tells me that they've used these in some of the Formula One engines with good success. So more on that next year. Motor lubricants. So these are 100% synthetic for the four cycle engines and it's good for use up to 19,000 RPM. So there's the HCX 3800 line. You can see the, 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 the uh, multi-viscosity rates that we have there for the motorcycle fluids. We go from something with zero weight up to five weight and on the top side, 20 to 30. ELF for Moto is gonna be really exciting to see happen in the United States this year. And again, these are all in stock. Now we're coming over to the multi-vis oils for the auto range. So again, guys, perk up your ears because again, we're bringing the IP and technology over from the professional auto racing into the United States now by bringing in these HCX 800 series motorcycle, excuse me, auto range products. We go from the zero weights up to the 10 weight on the top side, 30 to 60. So we should have everything that you need. If you do have a need that you want to confirm, we can send mm -hmm. your questions over to the team in France and get them to take a look at that application and give us the right one to look at. I'm not going too fast, Jeff, am I? No, you're doing good. All right. Now, fluids. You know, I was telling you about the HTX 320 that it really blew us away when we saw these boiling points here. So full synthetic dot four. And we were thinking, okay, that's great. But when the motorcycle guys looked at this dry and wet boiling points, they said, wait a minute. These are very, very, very good and exceed the products that they're using now. So they're all changing over. Of course, these come in a in 0.5 liter bottle, which we have in stock. And again, we go to the gear oils, the HTX 700 series. You can see the weights there, 75, 80, up to the 80 WF 140. And of course, we do have the HTX 
X coolant CI concentrate. Now, mm -hmm. look what it says there, Jeff. F1 one one tested. tested. F1 tested. So again, you can see the racing history down there just through 2013. It goes beyond that, but I couldn't find a slide that had everything on there. But you can see that ELF has been involved in racing. And even when it was acquired, acquired by Total, they continued to operate as an organization within the company and continued to make strides to improve their products. Now, let's get to the business of EPAR trade. So, what are we going to do for you if you become a new dealer? Are well, you going to get our new dealer pack, which includes the ELF free shirts, decals, hats, electronic copies of all the marketing materials. So what do we got? We've got technical data sheets. We've got uh, flyers. We've got all sorts of marketing materials. Uh, if you want banners, we can have those produced. SDS is which is important for us to have online. You'll have them on a, on a thumb drive to put onto your system so you can pull it up. We have those right now on EPAR trade, but you'll have them when you join us as a dealer. And of course you get the whole line card, what we have today and what we'll have tomorrow. Shipping, shipping is free for orders of $3,000 or more. Now, here's the biggest promotion we're gonna be offering this next year, Elf Dino Challenge. Now, when we represented Shell Racing Fuels, another, another, another refiner in Formula One using its technology to create unbelievable unleaded racing fuels. We use this dyno challenge to prove to people that our fuels were better than what they were using now. Again, new fuel versus old fuel, which one wins? Hyperfuels will rebate the cost of up to three dyno runs to test any ELF racing fuel against any competitor fuel. Requires registration, authorization, and reporting of both fuels for the dyno results. But if you go look at Shell URT videos still on YouTube, you can't believe the results that we got here. So we're expecting Elf Dino to be comparable for our good dealers out there and those with dinos. You need to be a part of this challenge because it's gonna bring you a dino customer and you're gonna need to tune for the fuel. So you've got the dino run you're gonna be selling, you're gonna be selling the, the tune and hopefully you'll sell the racing fuels and lubricants as well. Now selling a combustible fuel is, excuse me, a consumable fuel is very good because you replicate your profits month after month. All right, so how do you, and by the way, ELF dealers can participate in all of our events. Invite us to your events if you want to. And we can do product seminars on your behalf, just like I'm doing mm -hmm. here today. Right. So fast setup for dealer accounts. There's no minimum purchase, Jeff. You don't hear that much on EPAR trade. Qualify your business with only a state tax license. Tell us your location, online store, and believe it or not, if you don't have a brick and mortar location, we understand that trackside businesses do very well. And we ship <laughs> nationwide every weekday. So now you know why we want to look at a fuel that's made by a refiner who's active in professional racing, who has new formulations for both new and old engines. And we recommend using new fuel for superior results and a competitive advantage. Jeff. I wanna thank you today because I, I really enjoyed making these presentations on EPAR Trade. You guys are making news every day and I'm hopeful that this will be newsworthy out there as well. And if you have any questions, I'm ready for those and we can go back and review any information that you'd like me to. Okay, one, one of the questions came from um, Tim McCutcheon and he was asking, do you sell nitro slash CH3NO3 in drums, and is so made in the USA, or is it made in China? Well, unfortunately, uh, we cannot sell any made in the USA nitromethane. That's a long story, but we're only allowed to sell nitromethane made out of the country. So right now, most of that comes from China, but we do sell it in 42-gallon drums for those who don't have a Department of Homeland Security permit. If you do have a Homeland Security permit, we can go up to about uh, 53 gallons, I believe, is the size of the, of the drum there. We also sell the, the products in quartz, gallons, and we used to sell five-gallon pails, but UPS put a special duty on that of $25, so we've stopped selling a tw tw the five-gallon pails of nitro. But that's one of our biggest sellers out there of any racing fuel. How does that work as far as you know, the shipment's concerned. It has to come, does it come through Houston or is it shipped from Houston or is it direct, uh, direct ship? Uh, mostly it comes through the ports in Los Angeles. 
And uh, okay. so every every year we have to order ahead of the season and we bring it into the port and then distribute it to terminals that we have. Telling you right now, you're making uh, you're making a lot of people smile. I think around the United <laughs> States because again, I think it's been recognized. Like, again, the quality of health speaks for itself throughout the history of uh, the world, and now we're getting the benefit of being able to use it here in, in the United States because of uh, because of your and Francis uh, great idea and, and you know collaboration. Now it's available for us here in the United States so, uh, in an easier uh, way. So. Uh, Congratulations to both of you guys helping the racing yes. world out. Francis, come on, start with you. No, I just, I made one call. I mean, that's what we do. I mean, you know, that's we industry. And uh, when Jess, uh, Jess called me and says, can you, mm -hmm. of course. And, you know, and that's what we do with Judy every day. You know, we, we help people. And that's what this whole platform is about, connecting the industry. The concept for EPAR trade is basically, in my opinion, there's a big hole in the internet. So the internet started many years ago, but there's never been an online business community for racers on the World Wide Web. The need for EPAR trade is actually quite obvious. Basically, people in the business of auto racing need a place online to hang out and get their problems solved. It's extremely simple for a buyer or for a supplier to interact on the platform. The first thing you need to do is sign in, which is free. And the second thing is when you see a product that you're interested in, all you need to do is click on request more information. If it's a company, you click on request more information. And then from there, it is forwarded directly to the buyer or to the supplier. You can go to epartrade.com, you become part of a community of businesses in racing, and it makes uh, sourcing products much easier than just on the internet or using Google. At epartrade, there is no e-commerce. It's literally a connection just like at a trade show. So now, any time of the year, a buyer could reach out to a supplier through an email. More than that, it's a place to go just to keep current every day. So it's a good place to start your work day in your racing business or in your offices of your professional race team. And you know you're current when it comes to new technology, industry news, technical papers, technical videos, all that and more. We're not looking for a million hits per day. All we want is people who are really the volume buyers of racing products in the racing industry to be part of the little world of EPAR trade. We have racing businesses participating from around the world. So you get suppliers from around the world, you get buyers from around the world. EPAR Trade really eliminates having to travel, closing down your shop. Now you have a place to showcase globally your racing product and technology. There are two types of people, racers and everyone else. Racer Magazine is for those who believe that racing is a way of life. Racer embodies the excellence that defines a sport driven by passion, courage, and ingenuity. Get one year of both Racer's print and digital edition for only $39 with instant access to our entire digital issue archive. Subscribe now at info.racer.com.